Welcome to the Colt Moon Pepper Show. Today we feature Chipotle Jam from Kozlowski Farms. This jam includes red bell peppers and dried chipotles for a Mexican style flavor. Kozlowski Farms. They don't claim to make the most, only the best. So we'll see about the best here. Even though I've never had Chipotle Jam before, so this is likely to be the best I've ever had. <clears throat> Even if it is terrible. That's a uh, pretty fair assessment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is. Does it smell as pickled as the uh, jalapeno it's jam got or whatever? Pretty it was strong flavor, had? yeah, or smell, I should say. Whoa, I was not expecting that. That almost smells like fake smoke smell. It kind of does. Let's get a nice dip there. Yeah, unfortunately, these jams—they never tell you what the Scoville is. Yeah, so I, I'm assuming most of them are going to be hot too. They're yeah. trying to. They're trying to, at least the places that we're purchasing these ones, they're trying to hit a market versus just that one asshole that really wants to, like, scorch his mouth on a peanut butter sandwich. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So, we here at Cold Moon will give you a rating from hot to fuck. So, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a pretty good scale. I think we should start using that from now on. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cheers. Salute. A bit more gritty. Yeah, there's a lot of seed. A lot of seed in there. Um, I actually don't mind it. I think that tastes better by itself than the other one did. It's got more flavor than the other one did. I think that smoky kind of... I don't know, that smoky... counteracts the sweet. At least the spoonful I had, like... It's like sweet, a little smoky, and all of a sudden that smoke just kind of... Mm. Kind of smacks you in the face. It dissipates quickly, but that build up to that smoke along with that sweet really doesn't go well. Yeah, I think that's what makes it. Nah, really? I, the smoke should be a little bit more subtle. It's like it kind of almost starts off like a, you know, like, maple smoked bacon, mm -hmm. and then it turns into, like, that fucking crazy death ham that we got with the Hakarl. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it goes that far. No, I, think, yeah, it's, hmm. I don't like the... Yeah. Uh, that could be very good on toast. I guess we should find out here with movie magic. <laughs> Booyah, bitches! All right, let's get some of this chipotle jam on here. Get it going. Some chipotle up on this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, nice, healthy scoop there. Cheers. Ah, that smokes well. Cheers, butter on bread. I still have that smoke smell, or taste, or flavor, essence. I don't know, it's still, it just, all of a sudden, it just hits really strong for me, and I just don't really care for it. it. It's very much for Chipotle fans that really love that smoky pepper, where, like, I'm kind of, like, meh on the smoky peppers, or the grilled peppers, or whatever, but... I think this is all right. I think the sweet cuts in enough that that it, it doesn't bother me as much. Like if it was a little, if, if it was any less sweet at all, it would probably be worse. Not that, yeah. To me, the the smoke overpowers the sweet. I think it should be more sweet. Like with the the other one, I wish there was more spice to it because the pepper flavor wasn't overbearing. Mm -hmm. This one, there's enough spice to it, but then that smoky is it overwhelms the yeah the rest of the jam. It is mildly spicy. Yeah, it's very subtle, but very subtle, like even less than like and watered they, down Tabasco. Yeah, <laughs> like it's really subtle. But uh, the, the good news is, on toast, the seeds like aren't a problem anymore. No, I mean it, it's it's very good on toast. Even I can disregard the, uh -huh. the overly smoky flavor. It might have even been better with some like cream cheese, right? That might even help cut the smoke yeah. a bit more. After, yeah, that, that would be really good. Some jam cream cheese like with a bagel. Mm. Uh, yeah, if you're looking for a pepper jam, it has a lot of smoke, let's try this one out. This has been the Cold Moo Pepper Show. Thank you for joining us.